look at your most excellent weekend forecast. What you got? That's right. Hey, you know what? I got a few things for you. First of all, I'm going to start stealing your jargon. That's so clutch. <laughs> so clutch. This clubhouse a... leader. You're the clubhouse leader. <laughs> so I can do whatever I want. Okay, let's go up to government camp. Going to take you here. There's a lot of places to get a burger and a beer up here. And I can see everybody and their mom is up here tonight. This mom, however, is not up there. Maybe I'll try going up over the weekend. But all this snow that we had from this week has certainly become a little bit of an attractant right here. And you can still see that snow off to the side on the sidewalks in the parking areas. It is only 26 degrees up there at about 3,800 feet. So all that snow that we saw from this week will be sticking around. Let's take a look at the statewide map of all our cold temperatures. We're at 45 right now for Portland. You go out to the Dalles here at 33, already below freezing eastern Oregon. Down into the 20s for you. If you go to Rome, <laughs> it's only 29 degrees. Okay, current conditions from our Riverview Bank camera. Crystal clear out there. It is so pretty. When you get a chance to see the moon, you, you got to check it out, especially by tomorrow because we'll have a full hunter's moon. 45 right now, but as we get past midnight, now we're going to start moving into the 30s and then eventually getting down into the category of frosty town by the time we get to your sunrise time. Wind right now is out of the northeast at six miles per hour. That dew point also very low, so it feels extra dry currently at 31. Okay, freeze warning. If you haven't heard it already, we do have a freeze warning, which starts at midnight, lasts until 9 o'clock in the morning, western Oregon and Washington, also Hood River and the rest of the eastern side of the gorge included in that freeze warning. Again, starts after midnight, temperatures at or below freezing there for that time period. Let's take a look at our temperatures across the board as we get to about 630 in the morning. Plenty of freezing numbers out there and below Estacada 31. Even at the coast, you're going to get really close to that freezing mark, if not hitting it yourself. 31 for you, Hood River. That's early in the morning. Sun rises. Pretty nice day. Nice and sunny. We're going to keep that northeast wind going so it'll feel dry out there tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, mid 50s, so a little bit warmer than what we had today. Now we get to Sunday morning, a little bit of a repeat. Little change happening, a few more clouds trying to drift in. Otherwise, still a chance at running into temperatures at or near freezing with more of a mix of temperatures depending on how that cloud coverage plays out. We get to Sunday afternoon, things are looking really nice where we're going to move into the mid to upper 50s for you, so that looks good. Chance of seeing any rain not happening this weekend, not happening until we get to Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So four days in a row that are dry at the end of October. Unbelievable. So that's pretty nice. And the reason for it is because of this nice ridge of high pressure. But look at this ridge. It's not by itself. It's sided by an area of low pressure to the east and another area of low pressure to the west. A little omega pattern setting up. So that means that dry area is locked in for four solid days. And again, doesn't really change until we get that ridge to eventually flatten out, but hey, enjoy it because happy Halloween. You're going to have some dry conditions for trick or treating. Now, dry conditions won't last forever. Of course, we have winter to look forward to and to talk more about winter weather. There's a conference dedicated to this happens every year and it's held by the Oregon chapter of the American Meteorological Society. It's going to be at OMSI tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. All of our happy faces are going to be there and you're going to hear lots of pontifications about what could happen this winter. What I like to do is just throw darts and see what sticks. So here's your seven day forecast. <laughs> this is what we think is going to happen in the next seven days. We're pretty certain about this, keeping it dry all the way through Tuesday and no rain until next Wednesday. All right, and here's my hot tip for the cold temperatures, Natasha, because mm -hmm. I was complaining, I've got drier skin all of a sudden, mm -hmm. so keep that hand lotion and extra moisturizer. Good mm -hmm. idea. All right. Okay, yeah, get back to playing darts. I'm going to. I want to know what tomorrow's <laughs> weather is yeah. going to be. We'll be right back. <laughs>